Check to see if you're looking for a specific item. If it drops more commonly someplace else, you don't look like a dummy. Three. Blabians of the sister guard here. Hopefully you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today and the lovely adventure of the tales because we're going to be going over a level guide to help y'all get your classes up if you have not already started and gotten there. So if you have not already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the like button, do the same subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. So let's get right on into it. So first things first, plebs, if you are wanting to get more XP quickly, we're just going to go over some really easy ways to kind of change this. Uh, there is a game pass for $4.99. This does give you extra XP when you do complete your dungeon. I will tell you, this is very much so worth it. I would recommend getting it because getting your level up to max and over leveling, which is when you take your level from 30 to 31, uh, gives you a thousand gold and 10 Aea gems, which Aea gems are used for just about everything in this game. So I would highly, highly recommend that game pass. If you are going to spend $10 on the game, that is the thing I would grab from this. The next thing you can do that will also increase your XP is Scrolls of Scholar. So these comes in a variety of different forms. We have some mythical, there's some epic. I don't know there's a lower tier. I don't think there is though. There may be. But what these do is they give you 100% increase your XP in dungeons. And that's easy, medium, and endless. It also as well in raids. And it does tell you the charges and how they work on the side. I would recommend... You can get these if you played the beta. You also can get these from codes. Codes are very importante. So I've done several videos on codes. Y'all are more than welcome to go look some up. Uh, my last video on how to get AA gems had a bunch of codes in them as well that also did the same thing. So I would recommend that. So let's do it and talk about general, general leveling. Okay. So general leveling, we're going to go over basically 1 through 15. 1 through 15 is going to be really, really simple plebs. It is called... You click on dungeon you want to do. You either hit create the lobby, start solo. You can do hardcore, not hardcore. You go complete the dungeon. So once you have completed your dungeon, you have gotten your XP. Oh joy. You collect everything. Ta-da! As you can see, I have XP boosters right there. Big note. You leave. You are going to rinse and repeat this over and over and over again. You can do it with a group. You can do it solo. Generally, 1 through about 15 is pretty soloable and manageable, and there's not too really complicated issues that you're going to run into. Overall, anyway. The only time you will change this is if you're looking for a gear-specific item. Uh, gear-specific items occur because uh, Goblin Cave may have not have a drop you want. It may not have a special item because if you're not aware, each of these different locations can have a higher chance for certain drop rates. Okay. So if y'all were not aware of that, hello, hi, how are you? The example being my spell book, because I'm currently working on book, uh, is at 2% drop rate with the level 11 goblin. But if I go over to the level 11 enchanted forest, uh, it is a 2.25. So this can occur several different times. I'm going to give you all a big example because I watched a big dummy happen by my grinding crew. They were grinding for the amulet of savage magic and at a 0.77% drop rate in goblin cave. And they were grinding in there for it. Just FYI, if you go over to Enchanted Forest Hard, uh, it has nearly doubled the percent. So check to see if you're looking for a specific item. If it drops more commonly someplace else, you don't look like a dummy. But you're going to be moving through here. So if there's different items you want, you know, make sure you're going to the location that you're looking for. Now, once you start hitting the raids and the endless, things kind of change a little bit. So generally, I would have to say level 16, level 21 early-ish, okay, you are still going to be able to run solo 99% of the time for all classes. Whether that's going to be you running raid all the way through or running endless. Now, if you are running endless, I would just recommend doing the first room and then leaving, okay? Uh, endless, keep in mind, guys, as you go through each of the floors, it scales exponentially, and so you're going to start getting stuff that hits harder, has more defense, 
or armor and has more hit points. So I would kind of keep in mind that may take you longer. Raid, everything stays consistent through the whole thing. However, it's going to take you longer. And if you're not able to kill each of the bosses within basically eight minutes, travel to their room, clear all the rooms, whatever, within eight minutes for each of the three, uh, you're going to have some problems. So big tidbit is uh, if you're having problems with raid, just do one floor of endless. If you are still having issues, no matter what level in this section you happen to be, whether it be 16, 21, 26, if you are having issues, there are a few things you can do. If you're running solo, try to run in a group. If you want to be able to find a group, I'm letting you know uh, their Discord has a find group button. So if you need a group, I would recommend going and checking that out. It'd be something worthwhile. You can backtrack and go to a previous zone and try to grind up some other gear that you may need. That could be something else that helps you. My last tidbit, if even if you cannot complete a single room on Endless, or say you're in the level 26 plus and you cannot complete a single room of Endless and Raid's just not working, my last tidbit in order to help you level up and get your stuff, go work on another class up to 15. Okay, there are several classes in here that give bonuses when you hit level 15. Example being, a uh, hammer gives you plus 30 health. Hammer gives you plus 30 health. So I'm going to be actually, my next video on classes will be on hammer, talking about leveling and that up, going through that process. Because I actually struggled with hammer and leveled something else up in order to be able to make it easier. So you're going to hit points when it's going to be difficult for you to level stuff up. Go level up one. Go get your magic up. Spells are OP in the game. Stuff like that. So do that. Backtrack, level up, and then you may be able to get the class up to 30. So uh, I will admit most people only get the classes that, for example, say for the prestige, the prestige classes, only get them up to 20 and then leave them and then work on another class for a while. Most people don't level straight up to 30. So if you're still struggling and having problems, guys, backtrack a little bit. See if there's something else you can do. Go see if you need some gold. You may need gold to go defusing. Make sure you're doing your dailies, okay? I really hope they add a battle pass soon. Uh, the day that this comes out, the next day, I do believe we have an event coming out. So uh, we're going to see the summertime vibe. So we're going to get different rewards with that. I don't know exactly what. We're going to be able to get AO gems, I think. So that is just kind of something to keep in mind. You're, we're going to be looking forward to that. So, Blebs, if you have any other comments and or suggestions on leveling up, uh, please let me know because this is just kind of a general guide. Um, I've seen a whole, not a whole lot of people that, you know, have gotten to level 30 yet and understand the struggle, especially late game doing this. I will tell y'all having run from 1 to 30 pretty much solo and then 1 to 30 with a group, uh, it's always better with a group of friends. Uh, especially when you start getting into silliness, people dying, fun stuff. So uh, my other suggestion to keep with frustration down, my last tidbit, I know there's going to be some people in the community that are like, how dare you suggest this? Ugh. Uh, don't do hardcore. If you are truly struggling in this game, don't do hardcore. I see a lot of people getting frustrated by doing that. So uh, if you're not confident enough, you have bad internet, if you dodge with your face like I do, uh, that would be my biggest recommendation. So, Debs, thank you for making this part of the video. Hopefully it was helpful. And I will see y'all next time.